Bonjour et bienvenue à notre préface à face de cette semaine. Euh, je suis dans la compagnie aujourd'hui de Hanou Lintou, qui est le chef pour notre grand concert neuf, qui va mettre en valeur euh, la symphonie numéro 14 de Shostakovich, un œuvre extraordinaire. Hanou, first question. You've been to the OCL quite a number of times. Um, I'm interested to know how you feel the orchestra has changed over the years or your experience of conducting the orchestra? I can't even remember how many times I've <laughs> conducted this orchestra. I can't even remember when I was here for the first time. It was probably 20 years ago. Right. Um, I remember it was a Sunday concert. I know you always give Sunday concerts for uh, young conductors. I came here. I. I knew this orchestra because my good friend Oko Kamo, mm. a Finnish conductor, he had been here uh, for many years and he had a very tight relationship with the orchestra. Mm. And Oko, he advised me, we Finnish conductors, we always did you to each other. To yeah, we each were, other. I'm this, going yeah. to this other <laughs> orchestra, can you tell me something <laughs> exactly, about that orchestra? Yes. And, and he said that, the, that this orchestra is, is uh, fantastically musical, um, has its own character, um, wants to work, mm. is kind, uh, cooperative, you know, all these kind of things. And he was right. And, and, and we, we, had a, we had a wonderful Sunday morning concert that we did. Um, Haydn Symphony, 103, as mm. far as I remember, and it was it was a great performance, and I, I felt there was a there was a common joy. I mean, we, we we really enjoyed working together, and since that, I've been I've been coming mm. many many times, mm. um, sometimes even two times a season. We make even some recordings mm. in the past. So, um, answer to your question. If this orchestra has changed, no, it hasn't. Mm. I mean, I, of course, there are now. You know, because last time I was here was probably 20, it was 19, I suppose, mm. Right? Mm. so before before yes. COVID, um, and there have been lots of changes mm. I can see in yes. the, in, the, in the orchestra, but it still sounds the same. Yes. Which is good. Well, As you know, sometimes sometimes it's bad, sometimes exactly. it's good, yes. and and in this case yeah. it's good yeah. because um, <clears throat> some. Chamber orchestras tend to um, sound a bit boring. You know, they lack character. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they, um, I mean, they they play well, but but, 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 they, but they, 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 they they don't have that much personality. Right, right, right. Um, and and well, sometimes there's always well. Mm. There's always a question of sound. Mm. Um, and this orchestra has both. It has sound and it has character. Mm. And it had when I came here for the first time, mm. and, it, and they still have that same, mm. same sound. So they have, they have maintained to mm. pass on this mm. sound to the next generation. Mm. Um, and it's, uh, they, they are wonderfully cooperative still. Um, the, the, the sound comes automatically. We, it's, it's very easy to work um, with the sound and phrasing. And um, so, yes, it's still the same orchestra, and that's the reason why I keep coming back. Oh, good to know. It's <laughs> wonderful. So, speaking of, of the sound and the, 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 the projection, this work that is the main focus of this concert, the 14th Symphony of Shostakovich. Mm. Very unusual in Shostakovich's symphonic output because it's for basically a string orchestra and percussion and not the enormous forces mm. that he has for most of them. So it's a very special work in his output. Um, how is this a work that you feel a, 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 an attachment to? Is it something that, how does it speak to you? How do you go about work? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a very fragile mm. piece. It's, it's written for one of the best uh, chamber orchestras in the world, or, or which used to be one of the best chamber orchestras, uh, Rudolf Barshai's The Moscow Solists. Mm. And uh, Shostakovich knew them well, and, and they, they, were, they were wonderful. And they had five first violin and five second violin and, and, and four violas and, mm. and so on. And um, it's, of course, a very unusual um, Ensemble, um, also because it's it's very very difficult to uh, 
to find colors when the amount of the of the players is so few. I mean, it's mm. uh, it's uh, sometimes nice bigger orchestras. You you have more You're different more possibilities. Yes, yeah. um, yeah. And uh, so it's it's very virtuosic. It's mm. it's it's very fragile. I mean, mm. people really need to play difficult unisons. Mm. Mm. Um, but at the same time, it's a very long piece. You know, it's huge. It's, it's over 50 minutes, yes. and and with with a small ensemble of length like that, it's it's a very strange combination. Mm. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's it's possible to reach this intimacy yes. of the poems, yes. and um, actually the text comes through even better when yes. the when the orchestra is. Smaller because this this is the thing you've got a, a small orchestra basically a string or small string orchestra and then you've got two soloists mm. so soprano and bass with an incredible variety of poems I mean there's Apollonia there's Lorca there's Rilke yes. it's 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 quite quite an extraordinarily diverse set of texts and he finds a different colour for every every part of it. True, he? yes. Yes, and, and what is interesting is that we are talking about late sixties here. Mm. And um, the Stalin years were over, so there was much more relaxed uh, artistic atmosphere in Soviet Union, uh, but it also f seems that Shostakovich was not happy with his life and with his with his works, and he just, it was just uh, his self criticism mm. has grown really, and it, it, it has become megalomaniac, mm. and um, so um, I, I think he this is his answer to. Uh, European modernism, because mm. because of course he knew works by Penderecki, he knew works by Lutoslavsky, um, and he knew works by Britain, yes, of of, to whom this symphony is dedicated. Mm. And it's very interesting, but but it it is actually um, it's very easy to find twelve tone rows mm. from this piece, which is rare for Shostakovich, yes. but it still sounds Shostakovich. Yes. So it's it's um, I, I think. Lutoslavsky has uh, some pieces for tenor and the string orchestra, uh, and, and I think I think Shostakovich was trying to compose something mm. something like that, mm. and of course it, it wasn't meant to be a symphony. It was meant to, well he he called it an oratorio, right? Yes, and and so he really struggled. I mean he, he composed this piece and then he really didn't know what it was, mm. and then he decided to name it a symphony because that's what it actually is. Yes. Oh, it, it could it could also be a requiem of some kind, yes. uh, the, the the shape of it, yes. um, the but but it 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 has the gravity of a mm. symphony, yes. although it has all these uh, twenty movements. Well, I mean, it has it has the intensity of a symphony. Mm. I mean, at the end of it, presumably the performance, but certainly the audience feel like they've been through a symphony, yes. which is which is amazing. So it's and and it's got quite dark themes to it as well. Well, it's about it's death. It's about death. Yes, and, and there is really no hope, and, yes. and mm. I think it, it really reflects Shostakovich's own feeling yes. uh, that time. I mean, there, there was death everywhere, and, and um, I, I think it's, it's also you know, part, of the, um, part of the old Russian uh, mm. tradition and also the Soviet um, poems and everything. It's, 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 very, it's very pessimistic. Mm. Um, but it also speaks to death as if death were a person of mm. some kind. Mm. We, we meet yes. death, yes. Yes. and and that's what what really really makes it scary and fascinating. Well, that's that's the thing. I mean, you know, when when, when we talk about it like this, you know, it's about death, and 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 it sounds. It sounds like a quite miserable experience, but it's actually anything but. It's one of the most no, uplifting elevating. pieces yes, that you know that is. I know, yeah. because because of this intensity, because it's so personal, I think, and also because it's it's so universal. I mean, and and I mean, f from your point of view, what what do you what do you would you say to the public that would make them <laughs> want to come to want to come to this concert? I would I would just love people to come and hear one of the one of the greatest symphonies of the second half of the 20th century yeah. and and it's it's uh, the, the in, enjoy well enjoy is the wrong word but but but, but, but to feel yes. the the yes. gravity yes. Uh, of, a, of a of a great mm. composer yeah. um, 
And for once, you can hear the soloists because they're yes, looking for it. Exactly. Small. You, know, you, you don't need to worry that yeah. you know we are, we are covering the with our noise. You yes. know, everyone who, who are trying to sing something. It's 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 a chamber music like piece, but it has the gravity of a symphony. Mm. And I'm sure it's a, it's a fulfilling mm. experience. It's not it's not pessimistic. It's about serious things, but it's yes. it's um, it it has it has also hope. I suppose it's also it's also about the one thing that we all share, mm. isn't it? True. And, yes. and and that mm. and that life is worth living, knowing that this is coming at the end of it. But yes, when, when, it, it yes. Makes you focus when we are still alive, we yes. should we should enjoy <laughs> the exactly. fact that we are exactly. alive. Yes. And also, I mean, I really recommend people to come and listen to two wonderful soloists. I mean, Alisa yes, Varela, and say, yeah. who just made a, a wonderful debut with the Berlin Philharmonic. Mm. She did um, Die Frau ohne Schatten bei Strauss, mm. and then Misha Petrenko, who has done this That's role uh, and and mm. symphony so, so many times. Mm. Um, this is this is a. a Symphony and song cycle for big voices, and now we have really, really big voices. But they can they can also uh, achieve all the colors that yes. Shostakovich yes. uh, wants to have. It's a it's a it's a wonderful experience. Really looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.